Hello guys, Edgar with ChromeSpot.com and I'm here with my Chromebook Pixel and you might be wondering what exactly I'm doing here, it looks nothing like Chrome OS and that's because it isn't. This is actually running Ubuntu um, and I've done it through a, through a little tool called Crouton. Um, with this tool you can install Ubuntu and run it right next to your Chrome OS when it's operating system. You can switch back and forth and uh, I wanted to show you guys how you can do this. It'll be helpful if you happen to, you know, if you only have a Chrome a Chromebook as your daily driver and you would like to be able to use some fuller programs or full-on applications for your computer or some, you know, local functionality without having to be online. Well, Ubuntu is based on Linux and it's pretty much a full-on computer operating system so it's your best bet unless you want to buy a separate computer. In this tutorial we're going to show you the whole process on how to install Ubuntu on your Chromebook so stay tuned and let's jump right into it. You will have to turn on developer mode and you'll have to get a bit dirty so something I'd like to do before doing all of this because anything can go wrong is going to the chrome colon slash slash image burner tool and uh, creating a USB uh, copy recovery image so you can go ahead and do that I have finished doing mine and I am all ready to go so make yours to enable developer mode you must enter recovery mode first which you can do by pressing and holding escape and refresh and then pressing the power button like I just did then you will get the screen after this screen shows up all you have to do is press ctrl D and you will be entered into a different menu after you are in the secondary menu, all you have to do is press enter and you will be pretty much turning on developer mode. Please remember that this is completely your responsibility, so do your, do your extra research and all of that. If anything happens to this computer or you know your operating system or your laptop, it will be solely your responsibility. You are entering developer mode and changing things in your computer, so that's pretty much, you know, you know the deal. After that, you can allow the computer to do its thing. It'll take a while for it to clear all the data and restart again. You will lose all the data, so make sure you back that up too. And uh, this screen that you see right now, it will actually appear every single time you turn on your computer. You can press escape to get your computer back to default, or you can press control D. But this time, it's going to do its process. But pressing control D will actually make the computer boot instead of just holding in the developer mode screen for 30 seconds. So right now we're just waiting for this to do its whole thing and we'll get back to you as soon as it's done. As I mentioned, you will see this screen every single time you turn your computer on as long as you have developer mode on. All you have to do is press Ctrl D as I just did and look at my face right there and the computer will boot up just like any other day and from now on you have Chrome OS just the way it looks like whenever you bought it you do the, go through the whole setup process and after that you'll be ready to install Crouton and install Ubuntu onto your Chrome OS laptop you will have to download Crouton and put it in the, in the download folder I will give you a link to that right below but after that you press Control alt t to open the terminal and after that all you have to do is type shell and enter from here you have to get your coding skills on you can choose between two versions of Ubuntu one of them is XFCE which is a version that looks much more like a traditional Windows desktop and there's Unity which I believe is much more good looking so that's the one I will be using so I, I will give you the codes in the description and in the post. The codes will be provided in the article, which will be linked to in the description below if you're watching from YouTube. So all you have to do is type it in or paste it, copy paste it, and you will be set to go. After you properly input the code, the installation will start, and this is how it's going to look. This is going to take a very long time, so we're going to head and skip through all of this process and show you what it's going to be like at the end. Once the installation is done, 
the computer or the code will ask you for information like your username, your password, and such things. Just fill out the form and you know follow the instructions, and that's pretty much the last step to take. And after that, we'll be ready to start playing around with Ubuntu on your Chromebook Pixel or any Chromebook that you may be using this with. And there you go. Now we're ready. But the beauty of Chrome of Crouton is that you can run both Chrome OS and Ubuntu from the same machine. And all you have to do to switch back and forth is press Control, Alt, Shift, and back. This sends you to Chrome OS. And then you press Control, Alt, Shift, forward to send yourself back to Ubuntu. And then Control, Alt, to refresh to restart the whole system. Now you're back in Ubuntu. You can switch back and forth by using the controls that I just told you. You can also check out those uh, key configurations on the, at the article, which will be linked to the description down below, as I already explained. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and you can have the full functionality of a a complete operating system, a complete desktop operating system on your Chromebook. That is it for today, guys. Once again, this is Edgar from Chromespot.com, and have a good day.